Okay, good day. So, this is uh, MC Squared Coaching Center. Ngayon, ang lecture ko po is Engineering Board Exam Frequently Asked Questions na naman po. So, yung Engineering Board Exam Frequently Asked Questions, yung mga common lang, usually yung Engineering Mathematics and uh, General Engineering Subjects. So, ang una ko pong i-lecture is Algebra. Okay, so mag-start tayo sa algebra hanggang pupunta tayo sa differential equation. So itong videos na ito para po to sa any field of engineering board exams. And majority po sa problem na i-discuss ko po class is calculator techniques ang gamit ko po or any shortcut techniques na mapadali yung pag-solve natin sa problem or questions. Kasi ang importante sa board Hindi naman dapat na matalino ka masyado, ang importante mabilis mong makukuha ang sagot. So, ang kinaganda sa PRC na board exam sa engineering, eh may choices. So, gawin natin sa pag-solve, galing sa choices, dapat makukuha na natin yung answer. Not the typical type na ginagawa natin nung college na na step-by-step -step solution. Dito, ang isusolve natin is the shortest way possible ng pag-solve sa isang problem. Okay, so again, I'm Engineer Melvin John H. Banzuelo. So, I hope makatulong po ito sa lahat ng mga mag-take ng board exam. So, pwede po ito sa civil, pwede po ito sa mechanical, sa electrical, or sa ECE. Okay, so simulan na po natin. This is Algebra Part 1 of MC Squared Coaching Center. So, Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe para every time may upload ako ng new videos, uh, ma-update ko kayo. Okay? So, let's start with the problem number one. Okay, so this is problem number one of Algebra Part 1. Okay, this is problem number one of Algebra Part 1. Determine the degree of 3x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed plus x squared minus 5. Is it letter A, 4? Letter B, 3? Letter C, 2? Letter D, 1? So, this is a polynomial. Okay? This is a polynomial form na function. So, para makuha natin yung degree class, titignan natin term by term. Okay? And then, term by term, then yung mga exponents ng kada term, yun yung basis natin. So, tanda lang, ang degree, hahanapin natin yung may term na may pinakamataas na exponent sa x. Okay, so sa apat nila, yung may pinakamataas na exponent is itong first term na 3x raised to the 4. So therefore, this is x to the 4, this is 4, fourth degree, then therefore, the degree of this function as a whole is letter A, that is of the fourth degree. Okay, so... Paano yung makukuha? Titignan natin yung function, term by term. Yung term na may pinakamalaking exponent, yun po yung degree ng function mismo. Okay? Problem number 2, determine the degree pa rin of 4xy raised to 4 minus 3x cubed y cubed. Ito, paano siya isolve? Meron na tayong x. And meron din tayong y. Dito, meron din tayong x. Meron din tayong y. So, same process kanina sa problem number 1. Ang gawin lang natin is highest degree term by term. So, we have two terms here sa function na to. Uh, ito yung first term, yung second term. Sa first term, ang total degree nito is what? Total degree. Ibig sabihin, i-add mo yung total what? Exponents ng variable natin. So, sa variable, this is, ang um, exponent ng, ng x is, what? Anong exponent nito? That is 1. Okay? 1 exponent nito, so therefore, 1 plus 4, that is 5. And then, ito, 3 plus 3, that is 6. So, therefore, itong ter first term na to, ang, ang degree niya is 5. Okay? Bakit naging 5? Because this is 1, then plus 4. Okay? Plus 4. So, equals to 5. Then, ito na naman, 3 plus 3, ang degree ng second term na to is 6. Or total ng exponent niya is 6. So, kaya, same sa process kanina class, 
para malaman yung degree, that is yung what? Yung may pinakamataas na exponent ng ng function term by term. Okay, so sa dalawang terms na two class, yung may pinakamataas na exponent is a second term. So therefore, yung an ano yung exponent niya? That is 3 plus 3, that is 6. And that is very obvious, the correct answer is letter, letter, letter D. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung uh, pagkaka-discuss ko. Okay, so again, hahanapin natin yung may pinakamataas na exponent ng terms ng isang function. Okay, so let's proceed to problem number 3. This is problem number 3. What axiom of real numbers justifies the statement 10 plus 5, quantity 10 plus 5 plus 3 equals 10 plus 5 plus 3? Is it letter A, associativity for multiplication? Letter B, addition property of equality? Letter C, commutativity for addition? Letter D, associativity for addition? From the word associate, that is group. So, every time we encounter the associate word, always na may parenthesis sa expression. Now, this is associativity for multiplication. So, malabo pong si associativity for multiplication ito kasi nakikita po natin na plus sign yung ginagamit. Ang sure lang natin is associativity is because of this parenthesis. So, therefore, this is may mga plus. This is associativity for for addition and that is letter letter d okay problem number four divide 3x cubed minus 4x squared y plus 5xy squared plus 6y cubed by x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared is it letter A, 3x minus 2y? Letter B, 3x plus 2y? Letter C, 2x minus 3y? Letter D, 2x plus 3y? So, gawin lang natin dito, class. Yung common na ginagamit natin before is yung pagsusolve ng gamit yung synthetic division. But, in this case, if lalabas po ito sa board exam, gagamitin po natin yung calculator natin. By the way, class, yung calculator na ginagamit ko po dito is before, gumagamit po ako ng uh, Casio na calculator na FX991ES+. But ngayon, sabi daw, bawal daw sa board. Pero to make sure, tignan nyo lang po sa website ng PRC if ano yung mga allowed na calculators. In this case, I use yung Casio pa rin yung FX570. Yung 570 na siya na calculator yung gamit ko. Ang the good thing about that 570 is parang the same lang naman ng 991. Okay? So so paano siya paano ito i-solve using calculator? Gawin natin una is what? Ito ita-type natin sa calculator. And then mag-a-assume tayo ng value for x and y. Okay? So mag-a-assume tayo ng value for x and y. So ito po siya class. So ito yung i-type natin sa calculator. So, malaki yung x at saka y kasi sa calculator malaki din yung x at saka y doon. So, ayan, 3x cubed minus 4x squared y plus 5xy squared then 6y cubed. So, after na natin ma-input ito sa calculator, ganito talaga yung itsura nakikita natin sa calculator. Press calc. Okay? Pag press natin ng calc, magtatanong siya ano yung value ng x mo. Now, yung value ng x na gagamitin natin is depende sa choice ng value mo. So, para maging consistent tayo, class, huwag na tayo gumamit ng 1 or 0. Okay? So, 1 or 0, eliminate natin yung paggamit ng 1 or 0 na value. So, in this case, ang ginamit ko ay 2. Pwede kayong gumamit ng 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Pwede nyo itry pag kayo na ang mag-solve. So, gamit ko ay 2, and then press equal. And then after that, magtatanong na naman siya, ano yung value ng y mo? So, ang ginamit ko dito sa problem na to is 3 and then press equal. Pagkatapos ko ng press equal, may lalabas na value na 228. Ibig sabihin ng 228 class is value ito ng whole function na to. Itong function na to, if x is 2 and y is 3. So, 228. So, value nito. Next naman class, yung 2 at saka 3 na to, isa substitute naman natin dito. Okay, so ito naman yung itatype natin sa 
calculator. So, ayan po siya, x squared, x squared, minus 2xy, minus 2xy, plus 3y squared. And then, press calc, tatanong siya ng value ng x. Again, be consistent. Kung ano yung ginamit mo na value dito, class, dapat ganun din yung gagamitin mo na value rito. Okay? So, 2, then press equal, and then magtatanong siya ng value ng y, 3 yung gamitin natin, kasi 3 yung ginamit natin dito, then press equal, and then maglalabas siya ng value na 19. Again, ano itong 19? 19 is value ng x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared when x is 2 and y is 3. So after then class, from the word divide, okay, from the word divide, i divide natin 228 divided by 19. So 228 divided by 19, ang sagot is 12. Okay, so 12 yung sagot. 12 ang sagot pag x is 2 and y is 3. Okay? So, 12. Next is, yung x equals to 2 and y equals to 3, gagamitin natin sa choices. Isa-isa. So, i-substitute natin dito ang 2 and then substitute natin ang 3 sa y. Okay? Again, substitute natin ang, ang 2 sa x and then substitute natin ang, ang 3 sa, sa y. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Uh, ganito po siya, class. Yan. Okay. So, 3 times 2. Yan na po yung sa x. Yan. 2. Then, minus 2 times y. So, 3 times 2, that is 6. Minus 2 times 3, that is also 6. So, 6 minus 6 equals to 0. So, ang tanong, sagot ba si letter A? Hindi. Para maging sagot si letter A, dapat itong expression na to mag equal to 12. Since hindi siya na equal to 12, hindi po sagot si letter A. Try natin si letter B. So, 3 times 2 plus 2 times 3. Ito na siya. So, 6 plus 6. That is 12. Ang tanong, sagot ba si letter B? Yes. So, the correct answer, kung titignan mo dito class, is si letter B. Bakit? Kasi nagmatch siya 12 and then dito 12. So, to counter check all, ayan, 2 times 2 minus 3 times 3, that is negative 5, hindi rin nagmatch. And then, 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3, that is 4 plus 9 equals to 13. And ang only nagmatch dito class is si, ito, si letter B. So, nagmatch siya na 12. Okay? Nagmatch siya na, na, na 12. So, the correct answer here is letter, what? Letter, letter B. Okay? So, I hope klaro po yung... Uh, solution ko. But again, if may mga tanong, pwede nyo po kong hanapin sa messenger and PM nyo po ako. So, para makapagbibigay ako ng uh, feedback. Okay? So, I'm willing naman po for any feedback ninyo po. Okay? So, may tanong kayo sa solution or sabihin nyo sir, parang may mali at willing ako mag -re -re upload Sorry na, sorry po if ever may mali, minsan bini, uh, sa sobrang uh, binibilisan ko yung paggawa, ang iba na mamali, na may may nakakaligtaan. So tao lang po. Okay? So last problem for algebra part 1, that is problem number number 5. So ito na, problem number 5. So ikinaganda ng H problem, pwede kang gumawa ng table, pwede kang uh, i-reverse. Okay? I-reverse mo yung process. So, yan yun yung tinatawag ng commonly nila na na reverse engineering. Okay? So, a man, 42 years old, has a son, 12. Okay? So, at present, 42 si man, yung son niya is 12. In how many years will the father be twice as old as his son? Parang yung tanong is, ilang taon mula ngayon para yung edad ng man is dalawang beses ng edad ng ng son. Okay, so ibig sabihin class, mathematically, yung ibig sabihin niya is uh, ano yung number of years na idagdag natin sa 42, number of years din na idagdag natin sa 12. So therefore, we will let x as the number of years from now at present that the father will twice as old as his son. Syempre ito yung father. Okay, so therefore sa statement Mangyayari, ito na yung age ni father sa future, 42 plus x. Age naman ni son sa future is 12 plus, 12 plus x. Ano yung x? Yung x po, possibly, ito yung nasa choices. So, gawin natin, reverse lang natin, 42 plus 60, then 12 plus 60. And then, itetest natin if that is mag-equal po ba siya sa 2. Bakit 2? 
Kasi, ang sabi sa problem, twice. Okay? Twice ang sabi po sa sa problem. Kaya, 2 yung reference natin. So, sa letter A, ayan, 42 plus 60. Okay? So, from here, ito yung sa father, ito yung sa son. So, 42 plus 60, kasi yung sa letter A, 60 po siya. So, the age of father, in 60 years from now, magiging 102. And then, si son, 12 plus 60, the age of the son, 60 years from now, magiging 82. So, ang tanong, multiple of 2, or is the age of the father is twice as old as the son? Let's divide. Pag i-divide natin, 102 divided by 82, never po siyang maging equals to 2. So, therefore, since hindi po siya equals to 2, hindi po sagot si letter A. So, pwede natin eliminate itong si, si letter A. Okay, kasi ito siya twice yung hinahanap natin. That is twice as old. Okay, twice as old as his son. Let's try letter B. So, letter B naman magiging 42 plus 18. That is 60. So, 18 years from now, si father magiging 60 years old. And then si son magiging 30 years old. Okay, so 60 divided by 30, ayun, that is naging 2 po siya. Okay, 60 divided by 30. Kung, kung hindi kayo sigurado, i-calcute nyo. 60 divided by 30, that is 2. So, therefore, anong ibig sabihin, class? Ang ibig sabihin po niyan, correct answer is letter B. Okay, ang ibig sabihin po niyan, the correct answer is letter B. Yun, sa actual exam class, pag nakuha niyo na itong ganito, huwag na po kayong, huwag niyo na pong isolve si C or at saka si D. Okay, move on na po kayo. Move na po kayo sa next question. Kasi po, sayang po yung oras. Pwede nyo balikan ang problem na to or question na to if tapos nyo na po yung lahat ng problem sa mathematics. Pag balikan nyo, in order for you to counter check, itry ninyo si letter C. So, si letter C magiging 42 plus 30, that is 72. Then, 12 plus 30, that is 42. Then, 72 divided by 42, never po siyang mag-equals to 2. Then, ganun din sa letter D. Si say, father, 42 plus 16, 58 years old. Then, 12 plus 16, maging 28 years old. And 58 divided by 28 also is not equal to 2. Okay, so gayon. So, dito class, napansin natin, hindi tayo gumamit ng equation. So, minsan, mas mabilis mag-solve if hindi tayo gagamit ng equation. This is reverse process. Ibig sabihin, nakuha po natin ng sagot base sa choices ng problem. So, reverse engineering po yung ginamit natin. In order for you mag-reverse engineering, kailangan po natin ng, ng practice. Okay? So, yun po yung uh, I hope, klaro po yung pagkakadiscuss ko. If, if ever may tanong, just PM ni lang. Hanapin nyo ko sa messenger. And if free naman po ako, magbibigay talaga ako ng feedback sa inyong mga tanong. Okay? So, 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 thank you for uh, watching and don't forget to click subscribe. Bakit importante mag-click ng subscribe? Mas mag-click kayo ng subscribe para makaka-receive kayo ng updates. Kasi, uh, ano ibig sabihin nito, pag mag-upload ako ng videos, new videos po, as uh, dito sa YouTube channel ko, ma-update po kayo. So, yun, again, don't, click, uh, don't forget to click subscribe and share also sa mga friends natin. Again, itong videos na to class, not only for yung mag-take ng board exam, pwede rin po itong sa mga undergrad, first year, second year, third year, fourth year engineering, na in advance kung makikita nila kung ano ba yung engineering board exam natin dito sa Pilipinas. Okay, so again, thank you, thank you for watching and our next topic is Algebra Part 2 and see you for, see you po sa next topic natin that is Algebra Part 2. Okay, good day and have a uh, happy studying.